Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, New York's former governor, Andrew Cuomo, has been charged, charged with alleged sexual misconduct. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on with the men in, the, in this country of power, thinking that they could just, just overstep all kinds of boundaries and cross so many lines. I mean, damn, I just, I just don't understand it. I don't, I don't get this kind of shit. It, this, this really pisses me off. Man, this really be this this kind of shit pisses me off. But anywho, guys, huh. moving on. Cuomo asks clearly can't keep his hands to himself. Allegedly, we have to say that, right? Y'all remember back in August when one of his staff accused him of forcibly touching her and the attorney general Latita James said she was going to launch an investigation and the next day he stepped down saying given the circumstances the best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing and therefore that's what I'll do because I work for you and doing the right thing is doing the right thing for you. Because as we say, it's not about me, it's about we. Kathy Hochul, my Lieutenant Governor, is smart and competent. This transition must be seamless. We have a lot going on. I'm very worried about the Delta variant, and so should you be. But she can come up to speed quickly, and my resignation will be effective in 14 days. And had the nerve to say back then it was an it was in an era where his actions were commonplace. What the hell? Well, if he gets a pass, then R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, I mean, hell, all of them get a pass then. What the man? Y'all, this kind of mess really pisses me off to no extent because it's men like him of power that gets away with this kind of shit because they know too because they know too damn much and it's more just like them on the same damn team and to be honest I don't really think they're going to make too much of an example out of him but nonetheless he is being charged with sexual misconduct so we'll see they said if he's found guilty, he could be facing up to a year in jail and three years probation. But I bet he don't even get probation. His biggest loss will be that civil suit those women going to hit his ass with. But that's just my opinion. But anywho, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll be sure to see when I drop new videos and bring you more content. And guys, follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and join my Facebook at Sister Girl Talk TV. Bye.